ignore the TikTok train for a second, though. Like when I, I think a trend we're seeing, and I don't know if this is a YouTube trend or just internet content trend is, you know, a lot of people we know and like have moved over to Twitch. And I think a lot of people were inclined to watch have been making content on Twitch lately. And the thing that sticks out the most to me about that and live streaming in general is just that it's, uh, I, I, the CEO of Shopify used this term to refer to gaming content, I think. And he said like ambient gaming mm. and it just meaning like content where it's not that like you're watching the video game gameplay and that's what's important. The experience of just being in a chat room with a bunch of people watching a game and the game is almost background noise to the experience of a bunch of people sharing in that experience of being in the same place yeah. is what is important. And I think Twitch is similarly like that place for ambient content. People like can turn on a six hour live stream, chat with some like-minded people in the con comment section. There isn't this expectation that there's six hours of content coming at Click. you that's exciting yeah. and engaging and always on and people will just like eat on stream. And it's, it's almost just like these places to hang out and feel like some sense of togetherness or connectedness, right? I really like that and it appeals to me and I, but I just don't know how to get into it. <laughs> what, live streaming? Well, I don't know. And this is no, no promises <laughs> to our listeners. I'm sorry. Check out Simply on Twitch no, in 2021. But, but for, for six years now, I've been making YouTube videos that were mostly quick cut, edit, crazy, wow, wow, hollow, like, yeah. you know, excited. Obviously, the if you watch that in real time, it was not that. But the edited final cut is that because that's a style I liked and it was accessible and I believe that people enjoyed that. But over time, yeah, it gets exhausting for you if, if you are creating that type of content. And so I've been very keen on like, I'm interested in what would it be like if I did a live stream where I was just normally painting my nails as I do every week anyways, but just talking to people and it not being about like, oh my god look it's all right <laughs> yeah i mean we do we do that on this podcast because this is a natural hour-long conversation in some way this podcast is dabbling in just putting less pressure and expectations on things to always be loud and exciting but like there have been some episodes of this podcast that are pretty boring i think sure. and that's okay right because people aren't tuning into this expecting to be inundated with jokes for an hour no but they're yeah. tuning into this because they want to listen to a particular topic that you and i are offering opinions on so i'm wondering like what would it look like if it were just me alone which is a challenge i yeah. think and i admire people who can stream for six hours basically talking to themselves and people in the chat mm -hmm. but i this space right now is me and you talking to each other there yeah. is no live chat integration yes we take comments from you guys which is great and i love that aspect of it but it's not really like a live chat it's no. not a back and forth and are you saying you're maybe getting sick of just talking to me is that what I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Well, no, we, we but... thought you know, by now we'd probably be having guests on the pod and we've yeah. sort of been inching towards that, although we've been reluctant to do that over Skype or Zoom and stuff because we just feel it would be so much more intimate and ideal if we could have done it in person, mm -hmm. but clearly it just would not be responsible to do that at this point. Yeah, and we will maybe in the future, but... Um, hmm. What do you think, Ben? Should I live stream paint my nails or is that really boring? I like, think you should do whatever makes you happy. I think it might be boring, but I don't think that's an issue. You know what I mean? I don't think you need to worry about it being boring. Yeah, I wonder if people just actually want to watch me paint my nails real time. They have questions about things like, how long do you let the base coat dry? I don't get into that on main channel mm -hmm. videos because it just takes like, too long. <laughs> I don't think they'd be there to just watch you paint your nails. I they'd think they'd be talk, there to yeah. just sort of hang out and maybe you look at the comments and you answer a but few. But that's and... something I've been craving because I realized the reason why I really like Twitter and mm -hmm. why that is the app I'm engaging the most with people is because to me anyways, it has the best uh, reply system where I can look at my notifications of just comments, filtered, not likes, because I see too many likes. Like on Instagram, it's it's useless because they they mix likes with comments. So I can't possibly keep track from notifications, but on Twitter I can. So I can have a much more meaningful like exchange or reply to someone's picture of the hollow taco they got for Christmas and sure. comment on it. And I really like that. So maybe in a live stream format, I, I guess I'm craving being able okay. to 
talk back and forth with people and it actually be a bit more of a conversation that I can track. And the hardest part about most apps for any one of my size is that you can't track them because there's too many. Wow, okay. This is all news to me. I didn't know you felt this surprise. way. Surprise. Yeah, let's, but I just, let's I buy don't, Christina gaming PC. I <laughs> yeah, I only have Mac, so I also don't know what to do. Yeah, okay. How do I stream on a Mac, guys? What am I doing? Okay, let's uh, let's follow up on this. I don't even Maybe have a room to stream in. See what happens in 2021. Okay. Okay, surprise, <laughs> but no promises because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay.